This is such a fun and unique nail design and has been one of my most highly requested tutorials. So I am proud to introduce you guys with it today. So let's get into it. Okay, besties, we are literally going to waste no time. We are going to hop right into it. So I have already prepped my nail and base coated it, and I'm going to go in with Starlight from Nail Reserve. It is a very, very pretty iridescent glittery gel polish, and it is the absolute perfect background. It's not too over the top, very subtle, but gives it just that perfect little, you know, touch that it would need. So I will apply two coats of this and because the glitter does add kind of a gritty texture and we do want a smooth base to paint on, I do apply a layer of base coat after I cure the two coats of the Starlight. Once I'm done curing the base coat, I will go in with Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat and apply a layer of that curing when I am done. Okay, and now that we are nice and matted out, I am going to take Perfect Black from Madame Glam and just place some of that on my little palette and I'm going to go in and just kind of draw an abstract design. There is really no rhyme or reason with this. Just lay it down however you want the design to look. Once that is done, go ahead and pop it in the nail lamp for a full 60 seconds to cure.
Okay, now that we have that applied how we like it, this is where the magic happens. So solar color dust makes a thermochromic pigment paint and that's what gives that mood look to it. I had bought one off Timu and it was really, really small and ended up drying out completely before I could even use it. Now my one from Solar Color Dust I have had for I want to say like two and a half years now and it because it is water based it will start to dry up over time but if you do notice that it is drying up because it is water based you can add water to it until you get that thinner like watery like consistency you don't want it to be thick and this stuff is a little bit on the pricey side i think it's like 30 or 35 bucks for just that little container but it goes so far so what you want to do is just apply a nice even layer wherever you have the black and let that air dry for a good I, I normally give it at least 10 minutes that way I know it's fully cured and once it is fully cured you will not see any tint to the color of the paint itself as you can see it has kind of that like nudish base color to it once it air dries it will be clear and you will see nothing it may start to shift if your room is warm enough where you are painting as you can see, it's already starting to shift from my body heat, just applying that first coat. So again, get a nice even coat of this applied and allow it to air dry for about 10 minutes. Once you have let that air dry, I do just want to say too, try not to get it super tight to the edge because we are going to want to seal this in. This is the most important part. Okay, because this is water-based, it does not have a lot of like resistance to the paint. So once it is air dried, go in with whatever top coat you want and just really seal in the area where you have applied that paint and then give it a cure for 60 seconds when you are done. Look at it shifting. Oh my gosh. Seriously, you guys, this is one of the funnest products I have ever bought. Hands down, one of my all-time favorites. And I know I've mentioned it in videos before. I have glasses and I have like magnetic toppers from Pear Eyewear. Well, I made my own mold so I can make my own toppers. And I actually made a pair of mood ones and they are hands down one of my favorite toppers. I am obsessed with this paint. I've made keychains. I've made all sorts of stuff with this. It truly is an absolutely amazing and mind blowing product. It brings me so much happiness and so much nostalgia. It is un real and i am living for it besties <laughs> i just love this stuff and i know if any of you guys get it you will love it too i mean look at how pretty oh my goodness and so this will shift to temperature it has a 12 color shift which is amazing now I'm going to take some gold paint that I made, which I do want to start showing you guys um, the different hard gels, the different regular gels that I've made over time, and kind of the best products that I have found to use for those. So if that is something you guys would be interested in, leave me a comment down below. So with this gold paint, I am not going in very meticulously at all doing the outline. I wanted kind of a rough outline because I wanted it to have more of like that gem look to it or like kind of a natural look to it, you know what I mean? So once I have the gold placed where I like it, I will pop that in the nail lamp for 30 seconds to cure.
Look at how fun, you guys. And because that gold um, polish I made, the way I made it, it is essentially like a top coat. So it's no wipe. You don't have to worry about it leaving a tacky later. You are good to go. Look at that shift. Oh my goodness. I want to do a whole nail set with this. I think it is just absolutely beautiful. And I will be sure to leave um, all the products from today's video listed down below. I believe I know of a discount code that will work on solar uh, color dust. So I will check into that and leave it down below. So be sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Let me know what you thought. And that is it for this one, you guys. I love you all so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!